Hi everybody, welcome to Live Tarot. Surprise, here we are. So I'm gonna give everyone a couple minutes to get in here, give the technology a minute to catch up. <laughs> I catch up with me. Another beautiful day here in West Virginia. Um, another cloudy day with all the storms that are that are taking place. And uh, yeah, we are kind of flooding around here too. So I hope everyone is safe and sound from the floods. Um, let's just see if anyone comes in. All right, guys. So I thought we would do some live tarot today. I'm going to go ahead and dive into the collective reading and see thank you so much spirit guides and angels to my mother and father ancestors and loved ones best energies for the collective please highest energies for the collective sorry about the shake i'm using this wobbly little table again but it does it serves the purpose so <laughs> this is life <laughs> as we blossom say this is life happening everything can't be all set up like a stage we're all, you know, we're all playing um, a part in the in the show, but this is this is live stage. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spirit. Highest energies, please. Highest energies for the collective, please. Highest energies for the collective. Highest energies for the collective. Okay, so what are we holding back on, guys? If you follow my channel, you know that anytime the cards are quiet, we're holding something back. So what are we holding back? Let's see, something finally popped out there. Um, share your ideas, speak your mind, and whatever you're holding back, communicate it. So what do we have coming out to, we have, look at this, surrender. Surrender number 41 reduces to a five. So that's all about change and letting go and just going with the flow, right? So surrender. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go, of setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. So Spirit is reminding us today to let go of all the things that no longer serve us. The um, old mindsets, the old ideas, old um, belief systems, whatever it is that you need to let go of. Uh, old materials, right? Sometimes letting go is releasing materials. Um, let me give you an example, like uh, someone passes on and you have you know, their, their bedroom suit or something like that that was bequeathed to you. And uh, you know, there comes a point when you have to let those things go because you hold on to those energies sometimes. So it's okay to let some things like that go. And I think that spirit is saying, hey, if it's not, if it's no longer serving you, then go ahead, release it. Surrender to the change. Number forty-one about change. So surrender to the change and re let it all go. Excuse me. That's actually a beautiful overarching energy. I really like this. Um, this energy is uh, setting us up to do that, to surrender, to release, to free ourselves from the things that are holding us back. We've been talking about this. We talked about this, I think, on Sunday, you know, letting go of those things that are holding us back. I just saw 333 on the clock. So the number three could be significant for us right now. We could start seeing threes. Threes um, correlate to the Empress energy. So this is a time of um, letting go and having new beginnings, a new start, a fresh, clean slate. We've been in manifestation mode. So a fresh, clean slate to manifest those, those ideas, those desires, those things. I don't see anyone in here yet. So if you come in, please let me know you're here. Um, Ooh. So right here at the heart of the matter, it's like we're standing still, we're standing firm, we're standing, um, we're standing in our power, actually. We're standing in ourselves. Uh, we have the Six of Swords coming in reverse, and that's about standing still. That's not about moving forward. This is about surrendering to the things, the overarching energy, surrendering, letting go of the things that no longer serve you, letting go of the things that hold you back. Um, sometimes that can be letting go of old behaviors where possibly you, you, um, 
maybe ran a lot and now you're standing still. You are standing your ground, you're rocking the boat, there's nowhere to go, there's nowhere to turn. It's like, okay, do or die time, right? It's like, I, I mean, I hate to put such an emphasis on it, but that's kind of the energy. It's like do or die time. Um, very loud van. What's crossing us? What's crossing us, spirit? What's crossing us? What's crossing us? The Nine of Swords, depression, intense anxiety, feeling hopeless, huh? Yeah, I guess when there's nowhere else to, left to run, you would, you know, that would leave us feeling a lot of anxiety, a lot of um, hopelessness, um, even depression, feeling very stuck. So, you know, we're feeling very stuck here at the heart of the matter, and um, it's causing a lot of depression and anxiety, but the overarching energy is to let go. Spirit is saying, release it, let it go, whatever it is. This could be about holding on to something, trying to hold on to something. The Six of Swords, it could be trying to hold on to ideas or um, conversations, uh, promises, you know, a lot of promises are spoken. So it could be about um, holding on to things like that that um, come from ideas or communication. Uh, and it's causing you a lot of anxiety. What about the recent past? What about the recent past? A lot of anxiety. What are we coming from? What is this about? It's like we've decided not to move forward. We've decided not to run. We've decided not to, you know, uh, We've decided not to surrender. It's weird. Okay. Um, where are we coming from? What about the recent past, Spirit? The cards are getting quiet. It's like, uh, what, are we not wanting to talk about this? We're not wanting to talk about this? The recent past, what are we not wanting to talk about? Thank you. The recent past. The Four of Cups. It's in reverse. So we're coming from a place of like gratitude and focus and seizing opportunities. Um, finding pleasure in, in the present. Finding pleasure in the moments. Finding, you know, pleasure in the simplicities or in the things that we have. We're coming from a place of gratitude. So what is going on here? Seizing an opportunity, the Four of Cups. So is that what we are, um, is that why we're not moving forward? Because we're seizing an opportunity and the opportunity is causing us great anxiety? Hmm. We're feeling rather um, scared. New journeys can be um, very scary. You know, when we're embarking into the unknown, it can be very frightening. I still don't see anyone here. <laughs> I know these lives are going to be a little bit different with it being so uh, spontaneous. Hey, Corinne. Hi. Welcome. So, yeah, we're um, seizing an opportunity, wanting to stand still, wanting to stand, um, go for it. But it's causing us a lot of anxiety. So what is, what is um, crowning us? What's crowning us, Spirit? What's crowning us? What's crowning us? The Three of Swords. This is very, this is very um, different. This is very unusual. So we are, the recent past, we're, or here at the heart of the matter, Corinne, which I know you'll go back, but we have the Six of Swords being crossed by the nine of swords the six of swords is in reverse so we're standing still we're not moving forward and and this is causing us anxiety but what we're holding on to is some sort of opportunity we're trying to seize an opportunity in the recent past and um to so we're holding on to this opportunity or something that has brought satisfaction and joy because this is in the reverse usually four cups apathy regret you know not being satisfied but we're coming from a place of satisfaction 
and we are standing still, which is actually causing us great anxiety, what we have crowning us is heartache, three of swords, heartache, trauma, sorrow. So are we fearing potential heartache? Are we fearing potential um, a potential trauma? Are we actually, um, you know, in our mind seeing potential heartache, potential trauma, um, something like that? Are we creating it? Is it, is, you know, the past? Because we're still connected to the recent past. So is the recent past actually um, steering, you know, the energy that's crowning us, the Three of Swords? Is that keeping us in this energy where we are somewhat tied to the idea that if we move forward with something, this opportunity that we're trying to seize, um, that it will ultimately end in trauma or grief or sorrow, maybe because we've not ever, you know, because that's been experienced. But exactly, Corinne, the, um, you know, the fear of the unknown, you know, it's the fear of the unknown. It's very, very frightening. And sometimes we get up in our heads and we imagine things happening. We imagine that, you know, if we, if we enter a new relationship, it's going to be like the old relationship. If we enter a new, you know, um, job or a new uh, land or, or if we go and do something, you know, it's going to be like the same. It's not going to change. But the thing of it is, is we are the co-creators of our lives. We have the power to change any of this. But if we're up in our minds thinking that we're going to have this potential future trauma, then guess what? We're giving that energy to it right so we're actually going to give the energy and then it's going to start to grow so we will get we will reap what we sow here so we need there's something here about letting those mindsets go remember surrender that's the overarching en energy today is surrendering and letting go letting go of those fears those anxieties um, and allowing yourself to move forward because here at the present moment we're rocking the boat. We're standing still. We're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. We're just sitting there. We're um, tr wanting to seize an opportunity, but we're, we are afraid. So, Spirit, okay, so that's that's crowning us. How are we really feeling? Let's go deeper. What are, what's, what's going on here? How are we feeling? Emotionally, how are we doing? I mean, I, you know, with all the energy that's coming out, emotionally... Um, I would stand to reason that we are in a lot of uh, you know fear based energy but actually what we have coming out here is one moment <laughs> what we have coming out here in our emotions is the Knight of Cups so we're feeling um, very you know uh, romantic like dreaming about this like we really want this we're feeling like this is something that we possibly um would bring us a lot of uh happiness right we have the knight of cups down here in our emotions so um ideally we want this we really want this this is something that um we have been longing for and um romantic romanticizing like right we've been dreaming of it for a while so that's how we're feeling about it. Wow. All right, Spirit. What about um, your advice? What's your advice? What's your advice for us? <laughs> seize the opportunity. Spirit's advice for us is to seize the opportunity. We have the Ace of Coins coming out. This is about um, taking it on and growing something, planting a seed, right? Uh, taking it, taking the opportunity. It's a financial opportunity. It could be, it's a resourceful opportunity. So however this plays out in your life, it could be, you know, getting a home or getting a vehicle or something materialistic with that, with that um, ace of coins there. But spirit is advising us to seize this opportunity to go for it and to release those fears those anxieties of potential future trauma because and stop creating that um, potential future trauma right stop creating that um, trauma that isn't there okay what about external influences okay 
external external influences we have the two of coins so this really i mean it, it it is about our stability it's about our foundation we're trying to juggle and um maybe you know a lot of people are coming at us or something but um we're trying to balance everything out external influences is you know maybe um trying to manage the money manage the bank account manage the the dates or however it you know applies in your life um how am I, you know, how are you going to, you know, get the money? How are you going to do that? So really focusing in and setting priorities and, um, you know, people could even be helping us to set those prior priorities because external influences that's coming out there. But this is, um, you know, just managing our resources. That's what really needs to happen here. Just managing and setting priorities, finding some balance, finding harmony. And that's just what we're, we're really trying to do here. Um, what about our hopes, dreams, and fears? Hopes, dreams, and fears. Hopes, dreams, and fears, spirit. Hopes, dreams, and fears. A lot of us with that external influences coming out with the two of coins, a lot of us actually could be having, um, some financial difficulties, financial struggles. We could be really, uh, you know, having collection problems or, or things like that, credit, you know, this, this is a pretty difficult time. So we're really trying to manage that. But in our hopes, dreams, and fears, we have the moon. Um, now, you know, I learned from another reader that anytime the moon comes out like that, it, um, it's a secret, it's unknown, which we know that. The moon is unknown, it's the hidden things. But what I'm saying is it's not meant to know not like meant to be known it's a secret even from us right now but that's coming out in our um, hopes dreams and fears is the moon with our intuition i want a little more on this spirit hopes dreams and fears um we're learning you know following our intuition following our dreams what do we have justice fairness harmony getting what you deserve that's what this is about Getting what you deserve, getting um, what you need out of life. Hopes, dreams, and fears. You're hoping that everything you're doing right now is going to provide you everything that you deserve. The life that you deserve, the life that you're dreaming up, the life you're building, we're building. That's what that's about. What about the future? What about the potential outcome in the future, Spirit? Potential outcome. Potential outcome. We have the Page of Swords coming out. Let's get a little more. You're about to get curious. You're about to get curious for sure. With the Five of Swords. The Page of Swords with the Five of Swords. And the potential outcome. And what about the future? Let's look a little bit deeper. The future. The Ace of Swords. Okay, so so we're about to get curious. We're about to dive deep. We're about to get our um, you know our shit together, our priorities together, right? With that two of coins down there, we have um, the page of swords and the five of swords coming out. Sorry, guys. Yeah, <laughs> they're jamming. Um, we have the page of swords coming out with the five of swords, and then um, that is in the potential outcome. Coupled with the future, we have the Ace of Swords, so new ideas. We're about to get really curious and about surrendering and letting go these fears and allowing ourselves to flow into life and flow into new opportunities and new ideas without so much hesitation, without so much, um, you know, so many past traumas lurking over the top of us, you know covering over us and um, actually setting us up for failure. We're, at, we're about to actually um, like take a leap and have a little faith in our abilities to, t to believe in ourselves, really, with this. Uh, the Five of Swords, you know, in, in the upright, it's about surrendering. It's about uh, defeat. But we have it here with the, um, with the Page of swords, swords, which is about, you know, um, fast communication, ideas, uh, um, wittiness, you know, curiosity. We're about to get curious about allowing ourselves to dive into these brand new opportunities to seize these moments that we're wanting to seize and um, just give ourselves over to it. 
Remember that overarching energy was surrender, number 41. Surrender to the changes. Surrender to the unknown. Let go of those old beliefs. Let go of those thoughts, those beliefs that, you know, um, past trauma sets up your, you know, is going to reinvent itself in the future. Let that go because you're, you're feeding that. We need to stop feeding that energy and start feeding a more pure energy where it's actually um, going to be better for us. You know, we want to be sur uh, like feeding ourselves um, success, right? Success. I am going to have a healthy relationship. I am going to have a, you know, wonderful career. Uh, I'm going to you know, just feed those energies is what I'm talking about. Feed those energies. Stop feeding those traumas so that we can stop repeating those traumas. Because that life is a cycle, so let's stop repeating those traumas and actually move forward. I really like this for us. Um, <laughs> someone's yelling. All right, so let's get a little more. I'm going to get us some Believe in Your Own Magic, and then I'll get us some Mindful Messages. I do not have the charms out here again today. I should bring those out next time. Um, and then I will open up the floor for everybody to say hello, all of that. So let's, let's dive in here. Thank you, Spirit. What else for us? What else? What else? What? Ooh. All right. Uh, we got this shark. Number 38 reduces, or number 35, sorry, reduces to an 8. So this is about the self, the energy of the self. It's also the, um, energy of Leo, so you could be dealing with the Leo, just throwing that out there, but and Leo is, you know, standing out, standing in the limelight, it's um, cur you know, it's very courageous energy, so it's about stepping into your courage and allowing yourself to be free in these situations, but we have the shark swim away from this situation we started right here at the heart today at the present moment, we started with the six of swords in reverse being um, crossed by the nine of swords we're standing still we're standing still in our anxieties in our um, fears right now and we need to spirit is saying to let go release ourselves confirming let go release ourselves swim away from the situation free yourself go for it all right, guys, go for it. Whatever you're wanting to do, whatever opportunity you're wanting to seize, go for it and allow yourself to um, just be free in it. Really be free in it. Free yourself. All right, let's see here. Mindful message, spirit. Mindful message. Mindful. What should we be mindful of as we're going through this, as we release these traumas so that we can really move forward in our new life? What should we be mindful of? Thank you. Those flipped over, guys. All right. Thank you. Oh, I'll fix those in just a minute. <laughs> I'll fix those in just a minute. So we got three. Now that takes me back to the beginning of the reading. I saw 333 three, three on the clock. And Spirit was saying number three could be significant for us. So... We have three cards. Excuse me, my throat got a little tickled. We have three cards. Two are face up, one is face down. So this could be something that we're actually um, struggling with or something that we don't see. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. My throat got really tickled. Like dust. <coughs> okay, so doing our best. We are all doing our best with the understanding and awareness we have in this moment. Any decision I take is okay. No matter the outcome, I make the best of any situation and learn as I go along. So just keep doing your best. Don't be so hard on yourself when you go diving, you know, dipping down into that lower energy. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. My throat got really tickled. I don't know if I swallowed a bug or something. I'm so, ooh. Don't be so hard on yourself when you dip down into those lower energies. 
where you're thinking back and reliving traumas or whatever, or, or maybe possibly thinking that um, the future is going to be like the past. You know, just just acknowledge the thought and let it let it go. Um, we have a <coughs> excuse me guidance system. I love using my emotions as a guidance system. They show me how close or far away I am from what I want. When I'm feeling joy and doing the things I love, I am in a state of allowing for my desires. I notice when I am feeling low vibrational thoughts and shift them to release resistance. Thank you, Spirit, for helping me clarify what the hell I was trying to say. Because <laughs> that's exactly what I was trying to say. Release those um, negative vibra or those low vibrational thoughts. Guys, this really got me. I'm so sorry. Wow. That choked me up. Okay. And last but not least, the one that we, we um, may, be, uh, may be a little bit hidden to us, okay? Uh, it's casting spells. The words I speak and the stories I tell are spells. What I say and believe, I attract more of. So I shift my story from lack to abundance. From victim to empowered. And from complaint to gratitude. Now when I speak to others, through my words, I am casting beautiful spells. That is a very powerful message for Spirit to leave us with here today. Especially when we're talking about casting future traumatic spells, right? That is a very powerful message. I love that spirit put that out there. All right, guys. So, hello. Hey, guys. Hey, Nahal. Now I am in love with basic, uh, basic, wait a minute. Now I'm in love basically with Moaz and we have a beautiful love relationship. But there's a new person appeared suddenly and he pays attention for me. However, he also has a relationship with someone else. So I'm curious what he feels towards me or Ooh, I tend to have. Girl, you're about to get your ass in a big old mess. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. I, that's why I'm telling you. That's why I'm telling you. I'm being honest. Um, that's Hey, Madeline. Hey, beautiful. Um, yeah, we're going to look at that in the hall. I'm glad to see you're back, Madeline. Um, let's see here. Corinne, it's so good to see you, girl. I haven't seen you for a minute. I feel like, anyway. Um... Hey, and Anessa, hey girl, hey beautiful. All right, you got it, you got it, Madeline. No, a specific question, wow. Let's see, who else, am I missing anybody? Nope, that's it. Good morning, everybody. So I thought, yeah, we'd get on here and do a little surprise tarot. This is what I was talking about the other day by not having those schedules. I hate being bogged down by schedules and time restraints and stuff. You know, I guess it's where my life has just kind of led me. I don't have to do that, which I'm grateful for. But this frees me up to be able to jump on here whenever I want to, like, you know, a lot more. So I like this. So um, I'm happy, happy, happy to be on here. All right, let's, let's get into it. How's everybody doing? How is everybody? Oh. Guys, go back and rewind um, for the collective message. Uh, pretty powerful stuff there today. Pretty powerful stuff. Um, I'm going to leave the overarching energy out for us. Uh, surrender number 41. I'm going to read it to you one more time. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go, of setting yourself free of all that does not serve you. This is number 41, and there's 14 comments on the thing right now. So mirrored numbers, 41, 14. Look at that. That could be important. Some of you could be twin flames or be um, coming into, possibly coming into connection with a twin flame or something. That's pretty pretty wild. I love this fun, um, spontane, uh, spontaneity of it too, Madeline. I really do. It's so much, oh, I love it. Good, good. It resonated. The collective did. Thanks, Corinne. All right, let's see. Um, Corinne, I think you were, the, yeah, you were the first one here. So I'm going to start with Corinne, guys. And then, uh, Corinne, which uh, pile would you want? 
You want pile one, amethyst, or pile two, agate. I just redid the piles. I went through them this morning before I came on. I, I was gonna, hey Lydia, hey girlfriend. Yeah, I was gonna come on about 8.30 and then uh, we had a little bit of a um, thing with the, uh, the outlet. Um, so my daughter's boyfriend was like, hey, you know, I need to fix this real quick. So it kind of put me, you know, we had to, we had to pause for a moment and that was okay because we paused and hung out a little bit and, and chatted for a minute too. So anyway, just so you know. All right, Corinne. All right. Yeah, I like that I redid the piles. These are all fresh. All fresh. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. Highest energies for Karen. Highest energies for Karen. Hmm. Okay. Come on now. Come on. All right, Karen. So, hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear those or not. Most people haven't said anything about it. I hope you can hear me. Um, one thing I'm picking up right here at the beginning, Corinne, is uh, the difficulty in riffling the cards. They're kind of flopping over, kind of, um, you know, just plopping down, doing whatever they want. And now they're kind of starting to straighten up. So I don't know if you've been having... Sorry, there's a big bus going by. I don't know if you've been having um, some trouble with like, you know, things just kind of toppling over on you, but I feel like if you have been, it's gonna um, start to be alleviated soon, so. Because now things are starting to really go smoothly, I feel like. if you So if you've been having a tough time recently, I feel like you might, things might start getting a little bit smoother. Yeah. First thing out is the club. Someone will make you, try to make you do something against your will. So I don't know if that was what we were talking about, where something felt like something was toppling over. Um, if you were having some struggles. This could be about uh, communication with someone, of course, because the cards are awfully quiet. The club is the only thing coming out. But I'm going to go again. Anything else? Tell me more. Thank you. Give me a little more. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I do wonder, you know, yes, had a tough time. Okay, so see, here's here's the club coming out, showing the tough time. And then we have the carrot coming out, opportunity or windfall. So I feel like spirit is confirming that things are going to start to get better, that you're on the other end, you know, side of that. Things are going to start to improve for you. Things may just, oh, look at this. I love this, girl. Look at this. We have the sunrise coming out. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh new start. And we were talking about that in the collective. So there's a brand new opportunity here for you that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. Look at that carrot. It's going to bring you so much abundance. This is truly beautiful. What else for Corinne? Let me finish up this ripple. Thank you. Okay, so that that was kind of weird because it was hanging on the table here corinne i don't think you could see that but this card fell out and it just kind of dangled and was almost wanting to fall off the table right so that has me wondering if this is something you're wanting to let go of that you're trying to release or something like that um okay dog we got what what it is is the dog it says uh pleasure with a close friend so i don't know if this is about someone you're wanting to let go of or something you're wanting to release um but i feel like it could be and it could have something wow they took it right here with this club so it could have something to do with that trouble you were um breaking free from um what else that person or it could be a friend lover someone you were very close with someone that you um were loyal to dogs have a lot of loyalty what else anything else okay all right corinne yeah oh wow corinne they you know they don't always have me look on the bottom but they did today look at this casket so i feel like they're confirming that you're about to let go of some someone 
that um, or something that you were very connected to, very tied to, but you're releasing it, you're letting it go completely, you're burying, you know, like you're burying it, you're leaving it in the past, it no longer serves you, it's dead, it's gone. And um, because of that, these opportunities are coming in for you. Solid opportunities, a fresh start, brand new beginning. I absolutely love this for you, girl. A job, beautiful. See that? Oh my God, I love that, Corinne. Look at that, beautiful. It's going to be very abundant for you. Brand new start. I love that for you, girl. Keep me posted. Keep us all posted, please. All right, so let's see here. Let me know, girl. Oh, there's a little, there's a little, oh, there's a little booger. I see you, you little booger. <laughs> there, I see this little guy. I Let's see. Um, let me block this little psychic Jay. Bye-bye, Jay. See you later, dude. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's see. Um. I am going to go up to um, Nahal real quick, and then I'm going to drop down to Anessa. Um, I'm kind of going to go ba back and forth a little bit. I'm going to do my best to get everybody. Okay, so Nahal, now you're in love with Moez, because we just talked about this Sunday. You were asking what was his true feelings, and uh, it seemed like he was pretty interested in you, right? So now you are basically in love with him. And you have a beautiful love relationship, but there's a new person who appeared suddenly and pays some attention to you. However, he also is in a relationship with someone, so I'm curious what he feels towards me or uh, attend to have. Okay. Okay. So, girlfriend, you know I, I am just, um, first of all, which, which pile do you want? Do you want pile one, pile two? You know, um, when you come here, I love you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, share the honest God, my honest God's truth with you. Okay, so um, in what you're saying, I, I believe that your relationship, yes, is very beautiful and wonderful because it's, it, you know, it just started and stuff. However, the fact that you um, right here. Uh, this new person paid attention to you. Um, obviously, there's something lacking there with Moaz. Um, you know, so maybe, you know, I would, I would probably think about that. What am I, what am I, you know, missing out with here? What am I lacking? Why, what is it about attention or something like that? I, I mean, just some things. I just worry about you, girl. I worry that, you know, you may um, jump out of one fire into a skillet and get burned, okay? So, I mean, but we'll, we'll ask, okay, we'll ask. My opinion, my opinion, my opinion. <laughs> Just like rear ends, okay? <laughs> All right, let's ask. So, how do we put this? Okay, so spirit. All right, spirit. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother, Father, Ancestors, and Loved Ones. Highest energies for Nahal. You know her heart. You know her soul. You know her desires. You know her relationship with Moaz. You know her needs. Her fears. What? You know. <laughs> you know. Another person has come in. So what do they want? What are their intentions? What is this new person's intentions with Nahal? What are this person's new intentions with Nahal? Okay, so I saw a rat, Nahal. I saw the rat. That one jumped off the table, flipped, and uh, covered itself, so I can't see it. But I saw the rat, and um, hmm, we'll leave it there. Let's see what let's see what spirit brings out. Spirit, 
the hole. What's going on? What's this person's intentions? What's their intentions with Nahal? Okay, Nahal, so temptation will test you. You got the apple. Temptation will test you, and I feel like that's what is happening here. Is, and I love how Spirit is doing this and giving the right words because I could, you know, mess that up sometimes. <laughs> but um, so I feel like you're being tempted right now in your uh definitely being tempted especially with what you've said so temptation will test you but what else tell us more tell us more look at this now i saw the rat but i want you to look at this apple and i want you to look really close do you see anything else on that card there uh -huh. to, um if you can just shout out and tell me what else you see i'll tell you what i see i'm sure you're going to say this you see that snake Temptation will test you. So you're being you're being tempted, you're being tested. Why? Why are you being tempted and tested? Because you're disappointed. You're disappointed in a friend or a lover. Right now there's um, an energy of being disappointed with Moez. Maybe you're disappointed with Moez because he doesn't give you the intent, the attention you desire. Maybe uh, the way that you desire attention is, you know, um, different from what he, you know, can give or whatever, but I feel there is disappointment there with Moez because he doesn't give the attention you desire. Okay, Spirit, what else? Let's get to this other person. The other person, honestly, um, Nahal, is a snake, a rat. And um, I have to be honest with you because, I one, I wouldn't be a, a good friend if I wasn't and, or a good person, and two, I wouldn't be a very damn good tarot reader. But I have to be honest with you. Um, the other person is rat, is a snake. They're involved in a relationship, Nahal. And uh, the mere fact that they're showing attention to you and stuff just shows what they would do to you should they get in a relationship with you. I would definitely, if I were you, totally up to you. It's your life. But I would walk away because, you know, you could be setting yourself up for that future failure that we were talking about earlier, manifesting those, those same future traumas, you know, re-manifesting the, you know, the same trauma over and over and over again. And, um, you know, I, I just feel like if this person will do it with you, he'll do it to you. And that, and that, that goes both ways, sweetie, that goes both ways. So there's, um, you know, I don't really know, but, uh, next we have an older woman coming in. It says dealings or a relationship with an older woman. So this could even be about you being disappointed, you know, with someone else, but I really don't feel it, this, this could be, um, you know, wisdom, information coming in, um, anything like that coming in for you or to you. That could be your mom, maybe dealing with the mom. Um, he could be dealing with an older woman. Uh, you know, uh, the person that you're referring to, he could be, sorry. He could be, um, you know, dealing with another woman, even outside of you and this other other person that he's already with. Um, so, is there anything else? Oh, my God. Girl, you cannot make it up, and you know this. Um, okay. These cards are falling off the table. So, honestly, I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you, um, caution you, this is off the table. This is not a path that you want to go down. Look what, look here. I told you I saw a rat. Mice. Discord among family or friends. So, you know, I feel like Spirit is cautioning you not to go down this path because if you do, it's going to cause a lot of um, upset. Not just in your immediate, but in everyone else's. It's going to cause a lot of upset for everybody involved because... There's a lot of people involved here. There's you and Moez, and then, you know, that other person and his significant, and then possibly even someone else, who knows. And then you have the kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. 
So um, I really feel like Spirit is saying, no, no, do not go down that path. And maybe, you know, plan ahead. So sit down and communicate with Moez. Um, if you guys are doing that well, you should be able to communicate with him and say, you know, this is what I need or this is the attention I need. I don't want him. I can, I don't want him. I can control. I feel this well, but I wanted assurance, right? Okay. You don't want, you don't want Moez or the other dude, the other, you don't want the other guy. I think you're saying, right? Yeah. If you're, if you're talking about Moez, yeah, you should be able to talk with him and just explain your needs. Yeah, see, there you go. Okay, so you should be able to talk with Moez and explain your needs and just let him know, hey, you know, I need this kind of attention. It's something that, you know, makes me feel better. I need to know where we are or whatever. Just express yourself. Express yourself. All right. <laughs> I love Moez. Good girl. Good. Good. Because you are being tempted right now. And temptation is, you know, something that is, yeah, it gets all of us. It gets all of us for sure. All right. Let's see here. Um, okay. Uh, Onessa. Onessa. Hey, beautiful. It's been a minute. Pile one. Pile one. Let's see here. You're welcome. You're welcome, Corinne. You're welcome, Nahal. Thank you. I hope I wasn't too um, mothery mothery on you. Look at this. Now we have 41 comments. So that number 41, very, very powerful. And I feel like Spirit wants you all to see this card one more time right now in this moment because there's 41 comments. Surrender, number 41. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go, of setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. And that is so true. So beautiful, beautiful message. Let's see. I love you, girl. I love you. All right, let's see here. Onessa, thanks so much, spirit gods and angels, divine mother and father, ancestors and loved ones. This is for Onessa. Onessa. Anessa. Okay, Anessa, I, I'm not getting the name of this, but I'm hearing the, like, I think it might be like the first line. I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky fall, uh, tumbling down or something like that. So I'm hearing that song. I don't know if that song is, um, you know, resonates with you, but maybe listen to that song, girl. I'm getting that song. I feel like you're about to get a shake up from that song. You know, I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky tumbling down. Um, Nessa. So, so change. Like your life's about to get a shake up, a change. What's going on with Nessa? Ooh. Those are plopping out, flipping around, um, and not showing their faces. I like this. All right. Oh, I like that too. All right, Anessa. I love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Anessa. So I was talking about that song. You know, I feel like your life is about to get a shake up. Like things are about to shift. And lo and behold, Spirit pops out with five cards for you, Anessa. And um, five is the number of change, and it is also. The number here 41 surrender change letting go so I feel like that's strongly connected with you there dear but um, of these five cards three are face um, up or no two are face up like I can see the pictures and three are face down where I cannot see the pictures. so those may be um, things that you know are hidden to us but the things that I do see are beautiful and I like it you got the flowers, happiness. And when I was closing my eyes and connecting with spirit with you, I did see sunshine and happiness. I just didn't want to say anything until I confirmed it. But yeah, there's happiness. And look, you got the rabbit, so abundance. Now, this card says too much concern with sexual matters. But this is, you know, because rabbits, you know, they frolic a lot. 
So this could actually be about you going, getting out, um, you know, going to engagements, gatherings, barbecues, you know, we're in that season. Uh, so this could be about you having, um, you know, abundance of friends or, or family or, or events or something like that. But uh, prosperity is here for you. Also with the flowers, the bluebird, they're showing here the bluebird um, messages. So you could be receiving messages and the blue is uh, associated with the throat chakra. So something could be coming through and it could be coming through songs like that song came through. So you might be um, receiving songs or information through songs like uh, downloads or something from your your uh, spirit guides through songs or or maybe even friends, family, something like that, sending you songs. Um, but I feel like there's going to be a strong connection for you with that. Okay, so what we don't see, what we don't see, what we don't see. Okay, we don't see is, you know, um, some of the challenges, some of the struggles that we have to go through in life and, um, you know, things that pop up. So we have the club. So sorry. We have the club. It says someone will try to make you do something against your will. We just saw this card. We have the club. We have the dog, pleasure with a close friend. And then we have the turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. And with them coming in um, face down, I feel like um, it's kind of the, the same thing. I feel like it's kind of the same thing. You're burying this. You're letting this go. This is what you're letting go of. You're letting go of, you know, um, people trying to manipulate you, trying to get you to do things that you don't want to do, or people that, um, you know, uh, act crazy or behave in ways that just don't, don't agree with you. You're letting go of those things. You're no longer accepting those things in your life. Like you're burying those things because you're working on your happiness and you're working on your abundance. And that's what's truly important for you. You're working on possibly even bringing in soulmates, soul tribes, people that, you know, do fit with you is what I'm really getting here. Now I want to, I just want to go one more time um, on the flowers and the rabbit. I just want to um, go one more time on that because I do see happiness and abundance there and I just want to uh, do a little more confirming here and you are going to let go of that other can you um, tell me a little more about the flowers and the rabbit spirit a little more about the flowers and the rabbit is this romance or is this job how is this abundance going to appear how is this abundance going to appear how is this happiness going to um, appear and show itself can you, can you tell us for Anessa, the flowers and the rabbit, how will this happiness appear? The abundance. Will it be through love? Okay. Okay, um, Anessa, so this may... Um, this abundance, this happiness, uh, it may come from your, it could be like a mom or something like that, but the, we have an older woman coming out. So um, there's someone in your life that could be very significant that's going to um, help bring in some abundance. Can I, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this. A diamond. You got an older woman and a diamond coming out, clarifying the flowers and the rabbit, the happiness, the abundance coming in. So you could receive some kind of gift or something from uh, a woman, a female, or, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily, excuse me, be a woman. It could be a feminine energy, but you could receive something from someone. Someone could uh, bequeath something to you, um, something like that, where you receive some abundance, something really precious look at that diamond you will be receiving or giving a precious gift so be open be open to the opportunities um, and let go of this it, I know it's hard to release things like that and let go but 
spirit wants you to surrender all right love that's what i got for you dear <laughs> let's see i hope it helps girl let me know let's get in here put those back over there and let's see where are we going madeline madeline all you said was it in my thoughts oh oh I love you, Nahal, honey. I, I, anything I would ever say to anybody, it would never be to hurt you. It would always be to help you. And I mean, sometimes though, you know, I'm at double Gemini. Sometimes my words can come out a little bit, you know, but I, I mean it from the, from the most loving place. I really do. Um, let's see here. Madeline. Madeline. <laughs> Lydia, girl, it's good to see you. I'm going to get you here in just a minute, too. Let's see. Uh, Madeline, did you pick a pile, dear? Did you pick a pile for me? Agate. Ah, pile number two. Agate. Ah, you're the first one to pick pile two, girl. Hey, Fern. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well, girl. I miss you miss ya all right let's see here madeline thank you so much spirit guides and angels my mother and father ancestors and loved ones this is for madeline highest energies for madeline highest energies for madeline madeline has a lot of stuff popping off don't you girlfriend i'm really excited for you I'm excited to start following your journey, too. Guys, if you haven't, um, if you're over on Instagram, go over and give Madeline a follow. She's um, she's really getting ready to embark on a beautiful journey, so you're going to want to be a part of it. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you, too, beautiful. Gosh, miss you. How are the girls? Are they doing better? I hope that they are doing better. I know the last time we talked, you guys were still all a little under the weather. Um, so, I hope they're doing good. Madeline. Madeline spirit. Madeline. Ah. Madeline, so you could be coming into harmony, into balance, into um, even fairness, like justice. Like, they're... Uh, did I don't know if you had some legal issues. Um, I'm getting it just as I was, I'm saying justice, fair woman. If you had any kind of legal issues or any kind of thing like that. But justice could be prevailing if so. Uh, but right now we have the fair woman coming in. And she just kind of standing there just kind of looking at me. Um, and I'm getting like harmony and balance. But I also got justice. Look at this. This could also be, um, as the next card comes out, it could be also letting us know that you're going to have your fair amount of hard work ahead. You have the table coming out that says hard work ahead. So Spirit letting you know that um, you've got some hard work ahead, but it could have something to do with a woman who's um, either fair complected, blonde hair, light skin, that kind of stuff, or you know if you're actually... Uh, looking at it as being a physical being um, but if you're looking at it from being fair you know coming as a place of harmony maybe Libra energy is what I'm getting so uh, it could be that but it could be just about having your fair amount of hard work ahead right my friend that is helping me out Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this. Just as you say it, girl. Y'all, you know, I'm going to say it again. You can't make this up. And I love how Spirit is working in the lives now. I really enjoy this. Look, just as you say, my friend that is helping me out, the grapes come out. And when I think of grapes, I think of clusters. And um, I think of tri like people, tribes, right? Um, so definitely could be your friend. It says time to go out and have fun. So getting yourself out there, which you are doing. So spirit is confirming. So there's a fire truck. Spirit is confirming that is time for you to get out there and have some fun. 
and you might need a hose down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that fire truck just came by, so that could be significant for you. But definitely about finding your um, tribe, finding your peoples, finding your place, and, and um, joy and happiness within that. And then we have, these two came out together right on top of each other. I want you to see that. And both of the, oh, no, 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 no. Look at this. I thought both of them were birds, but they weren't. They were not. We've got a bird. It says, news is on the way. Now, this news may not be very good news, okay? It could be, but it may not be very good news. And if it, if it is going back to that um, legalities that, that I kind of felt when I was getting her, if there is any kind of legal issues or legalities, and why do I feel like there was, um, then it could be not very good news because we had the broken bridge that's coming out, you know, um, with it. However, on the flip side of this, if it doesn't resonate with the legalities, this could be um, you freeing yourself from broken bridges broken repeated cycles things that don't work for you those things that don't serve you um, madeline because we have that overarching energy of surrender of letting go right currently at the beach girl <laughs> i'm so jelly um but yeah it could be about you letting go and and releasing those old patterns those old cycles oh my gosh and look at this as you let go and release those old cycles those old energies you make room for something fresh and new and beautiful and what do you get you get there must be a bad fire somewhere or something you get the well you get family wishes you get wishes coming true star energy you know you can think aquarius draw uh, star energy so you could be dealing with an aquarian but you get your wishes your wishes start to fall in place and um now you're this is coming out with the um the ram one moment There's a fire or something going on up there, so I don't know if any of you guys are having any of that. But um, this is coming out with the ram, so I feel like this is telling you that although you, you know, um, that your wishes are going to come true, you just stand your ground, just keep going, just keep doing, keep persisting, you know, um, be steadfast in your dreams and your wishes, what you're going for, stay strong. Uh, this, um, it says on here with the ram it says a stubborn aggressive person but that's not the energy i get i get this is the energy your energy you're staying strong you're you're steadfast you're ready you're you know you're like eyes ahead leaving the bullshit behind my eyes are ahead on my new life and the life i'm creating and your dreams are going to come true beautiful they really are i like this i like this for you girl let me know how let me know i like it i uh currently at the beach i'm making my own tribe i love that for you that's how i felt oh i love you sweetie i'm so glad your friend is helping you out that's so beautiful it's it's so wonderful to have those i need to be stubborn and aggressive ah yeah that could be it true or true true that could be it true that could be it too and that could be true yes you could could need to be a little more stubborn and a little more aggressive i i could i could stand that myself um yeah okay so let's see madeline we did corinne we did nahal we did um oh okay there they are um Mm -hmm. We did Anessa. Oh, Lydia. Pile two. Just wanted. Oh, I had just got to your. Let's see. I got to go back up, honey. Some a comment popped up and and uh, I lost you. Okay, I know you're up there, Lydia. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I, oh, darn. It happened again. I scrolled all the way up there and found you. And then a comment came in again. I was trying to see your question. Um, okay. Okay. Let's see. Come on. Give me that comment. Ah. 
let's see, Lydia. Oh, Fern, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Um, Fern, you're going to go next, right after Lydia here. I was <laughs> trying to get to her to her comment. You'll be you'll be next, sweetie. Let's see. Um, okay, where? Come on. Nope. Oh my God, let me get to this combat. <laughs> oh, let's see. Lydia, 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 Lydia. Where? Okay. Just wanted, oh my God, it did it again. Just as soon as I get to it. Okay. Lydia, what do you want to know? <laughs> Just tell me what you want to know. Oh, this is maddening, I say. It's maddening. You did say pile two, though. I saw that. Um, tell me what it is you wanted to know. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I love it. That's wonderful. That's the best. Thank you, Spirit. We all needed that. Just wanted to know if Jaden is telling the truth. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, spirit guides and angels, to our mother and father, ancestors and loved ones. This is for Lydia. Is Jaden telling the truth? Is Jaden telling the truth? Is Jaden telling the truth? God, I should go get my freaking um, pendulum. There is so much going on here today. I don't know what the hell. It was so quiet when I got on here. It's like, what is going on? Oh, there goes the electric company. I don't know if there was some kind of power surge or something. Fire. Let's see. Lydia, is um, Jaden telling the truth, Spirit? Is Jaden telling the truth? Jaden telling the truth. <clears throat> okay, so before I get in the cards, Lydia, I just want to know, I just want you to know, okay, so did anything happen around March or is March significant? Because March came out very first. Um, oh, uh, that's amazing. Madeline, I'll um, help you with that. Um, but March came out first, so I feel like that could be significant. And I want you to look at March. Uh, it shows, yeah, it shows little droopy down flowers and stuff because, you know, that's thaw. That's when things are starting to take place and thaw out and all that. It's kind of a sad kind of lamb, you know, month. But uh, March came out, so that I feel like that is significant for you indeed. Um, is he telling the truth? We have the bread coming out with the cane. The bread, it says periods of prosperity and abundance. And then the cane, it says pay attention to your health. And then when I couple it, when I put this together with um, March, okay. Um, Lydia, this is, okay, the, uh, first of all, when I give you my insight or what I, what I see here, um, just be mindful that this is my, um, intuition this is how i'm reading the cards you have to you know do with your life whatever you have to trust yourself okay but what i'm gathering is no he's not telling the truth and that's what i'm gathering and i'll and i'll explain myself okay so we have march that shows me some sorrow some droopy flowers some sadness some trauma possibly you know something it's not some death loss grief right so we have that, and then we have it um, right after that. We have the bread coming in, prosperity, abundance, things being good, you know, thing, everything working out okay, right? And then it's coming in on the ass of it is the cane saying, pay attention to your health. Pay attention. Pay attention to what's really going on. Um, and this, these two things are on the outer sides of the bread of the prosperity so the answer i get is no because there's too much surrounding it right if that makes sense to you there's too much surrounding it so what i get is no he's 
he's likely not telling the truth, but you have to follow your own intuition. You have to follow your own guidance system. Now, I want to go real quickly, if you guys don't mind, I want to run inside and grab my pendulum because I want to go ahead and ask over these cards. This is the energy that I'm getting is it's he's lying. And, and I just want to ask the pendulum for clarification. So if you guys don't mind, let me run and do that real quickly. Take me just a second. Maybe a little longer than a second, but I'll do my best. guys all right Lydia okay so I got my pendulum here um I'm gonna ask over the cards I know you can't see but I feel like you trust me um you'll have to so spirit show me yes show me yes thank you show me no show me no show me no thank you Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Spirit, is Jaden telling the truth to Lydia? 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 Yes. I'm getting yes, Lydia. According to the pendulum, he is telling the truth. According to what I see in the cards, I get a no. So maybe, it, I mean, maybe he's telling partial truth, right? There is such thing as, you know, telling partial truth. And sometimes when we do that, it's because we're, you know, omitting something that might be truly hurtful or something. We don't really want to add, like, um, salt to the wound. But let me ask one more time. Now my pendulum swings front to back for yes, and it swings side to side for no. So I'm gonna hold it way up here, and hopefully you can see it. Spirit, is Jaden telling the truth to Lydia? Is Jaden telling the truth to Lydia? Is Jaden telling the truth? Is Jaden telling the truth? Is Jaden telling the truth? Is he telling the truth? Is he telling the truth? It is moving forward, back and forth, but it's not very strong. So I feel like, honestly, I feel like he's holding something back. There's still, like, there's a half truth. Okay? Um, there's like a half truth. Let me ask one more time down here, but is Jaden telling the truth to Lydia? Okay. He is. He is, Lydia. Trust your trust your own intuition. Um, trust that's the best thing for you to do at this point is trust your own intuition. Why does he do that? It hurts, but he's my twin flame. Um I don't know, sweetheart. I I don't know. Um like I say, sometimes, you know, like uh, Madeline was saying earlier, she needed to be more aggressive, and I was saying I needed to be more aggressive, too. Well, sometimes people like us, we don't always say the whole entire truth because we don't want to add more injury to it, so we try to sugarcoat it or something. So maybe he's sugarcoating, and Madeline, I'm not saying that you or I do that, or, you know, you do that. I'm just saying maybe he's sugarcoating a little bit so that it doesn't hurt as much. I don't know, but I feel like he is not telling the whole truth. Um, will I ever find out what happened to my son's death? Okay. Um, Fern, let me ask this question. Uh, do you mind if I ask this question for Sherry real quick? Um, just since I have the pendulum out. 
Um, and then I'm going to go back to the cards for Fern. Fern, which uh, pile did you say you wanted, sweetie? Um, Lydia, honey, I am so sorry. I hope and um, pray that, you know, everything will be okay for you. Um, let's see. Thank you so much, spirit guides and angels, divine mother and father, ancestors and loved ones. Will Sherry ever find out what happened to her son? His death. Will Sherry ever find out? Will Sherry ever find out what happened in her son's death? Sherry, I want you to see this. Will Sherry ever find out what happened in her son's death? Will Sherry ever find out what happened? Do you see that, Sherry? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Oh, you be quiet. <laughs> she thought I said her name. Um, it was starting to get stronger. Um, Sherry, will Sherry find out what happened to her son's death or in her son's death? Uh, yes, you will. It was starting to get stronger before Miss Lady thought I was talking with her. <laughs> so um, I get yes that you will, that you will find out what happened. And I'm so sorry, Sherry, that you lost your son. I, I don't think I remember, I, I don't even know when that was, I don't think I remember it, maybe it was a very, like, long time ago when I was in Alaska or something, like, like, you know, humpteen thousand years ago. Sherry and I have known each other forever, guys, so, I mean, um, she knew me when I was a child growing up, so, yeah. Um, yeah, Sherry, I think so. Okay, Fern, all right, sweetheart, which pile do you want? And did you have a question or anything, or did you just want a general reading? Um, Madeline, when I'm done here, I want to come back to that about the pendulum. I just want to tell you real quickly about that. Um, let's see. 98? 12, 23, is that supposed to be 98? Or eight, uh, 88? Pile 2, general. Trying to think back, Sherry. Gosh, it was such a long time ago. 18. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Fern. Thanks so much, spirit guides and angels, divine mother and father, ancestors and loved ones. Highest energies for Fern. Highest energies for Fern. Fern, did I see you right when um, I seen high fevers? Did I see that correctly? I thought I saw you say something about the girls saying high fevers. He was 35. Oh, Sherry, I'm so sorry, sweetie. 35 is such a young age. God. Can't imagine. I cannot imagine. Um, my daughter lost her first child. He was six weeks old when he passed away. And um, Pain is pain, grief is grief, loss is loss, right? We can't compare it. But my daughter has said herself that she's grateful that she didn't have like 35 years with her child because it would have been, you know what I mean? It, 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 he was, I mean, he was six weeks. She was, we were grateful for the time. That's not, that's not what she's saying. She just, Terry, my heart goes out to you, babe. My heart goes out to you. Um, it really, really does. All right, Fern. So, Fern, what I'm getting here for you is you have a month, September. So, September could be significant. This could be this coming September, or it could be uh, past September. But you are being led towards something or from something, whichever way that works out for you. You're being led. You're being shown the way. You have the candle coming in, lighting your path illuminating something for you so something is being illuminated now I want to get a little more because that's all that came out so I want to see what else is um, here for Fern what's being illuminated okay 
It's coming out with the horse, a short journey. Your path is being illuminated, so you're about to, I feel like you're about to embark on some sort of, uh, I'm not going to, I don't want to call it a dark night of the soul, but you could be having a dark night, and it could be a short one. Because we have many dark nights of the soul throughout our lifetimes. You know, a lot of people, I think they get confused thinking it's one dark night of the soul. You go through it, boom, you're done, you're healed. Woo! It's not like that. <laughs> it's not like that. You go through small ones and big ones and smaller ones and bigger ones. And it's, it's always up and down. It's always continuous. So I feel what I'm seeing here is you're going to go on some type of journey. Now, this could be about travel, too. I don't know if you're planning a travel, Fern, but if you are, you could be um, being led to take a short journey to go somewhere close by. This could happen in September. Um, let's get a little more, though, because I still feel this is a little bit vague. Pay attention to your work. Okay, so... You're being shown signs and synchronicities. Pay attention to uh, the messages that are coming in. Document them. Write them down. Journal them. Anything that's coming into you, numbers, um, images, whatever it is that's coming in, you're being shown something. Your your path. Your path is being illuminated here. Um. What else? You got dark man coming in. So this really could be either um, you're dealing with someone that is, you know, dark hair, dark skin, dark whatever, um, something like that. Or it could refer to a short dark night of the soul, um, a, a moment in your path. Uh, but you're being led. It, it could actually you be being led to a person too. What else? What is this? Let me get through the rest. I want to go through the whole ripple and see just what else pops out. Wow. Okay. Fern. Shit. Fern. Fern. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Fern. <laughs> Girl, knock it off. <laughs> I'm teasing. All right, what do we have? Let's see, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, ten. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so you're in the in-between right here, Fern, is what I'm getting. You're in between right now because um, you got ten cards total is what came out. Anytime I get a ten, this is just my way. Um, when I get a ten, I reduce it down and I see it as the 10 at, and the one because it reduces down to the one, but I always feel there's an in-between energy. So you're in, in between something, okay? You're in between uh, a moment maybe of, um, let's say, uh, hanged man energy being, being in one place and then uh, in between getting ready to embark on a new journey, a new part of your journey, a new step. And you're being led the way, you're being shown the way. You might be dealing with some darker energies right now, like you might be getting messages from uh, some of the darker energies or something because you're being guided. They're showing you these things for a reason. So write them all down. If, you, if any of this is resonating, write it all down. Okay, so out of the last cards that came, um, that came up for you, Fern. We got five. Four were face down away from me. This one was this one here. I could see. And uh, you have originally got five. So surrender to this. Five is the overarching energy today. Surrender to um, the change. Surrender to this. What If you're being led to let go of something, maybe let go of toxic energies or toxic people or something like that. Whatever it is, if you feel strongly that you're being guided to do it, then, then go ahead and do that. But let's look at these. So we have the tankard. Um, it was coming in last, so I feel like that's ultimately something in the future that you're going to be um, headed towards. And let's go. We've got the dolphin, financial gain. So after you go through this short journey and um, uh, you meet with this person possibly or this energy, you could uh, swim with the dolphin, so to speak, and um, 
have some sort of uh, gain resource come through, something like that. I've been having panic attacks and anxiety. This has destroyed me remembering past traumas. Oh, wow, sweetheart. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, first of all. Let me tell you, I'm sorry. I know how overwhelming that can be and how traumatic and hard and difficult it can be. So my heart goes out to you. Check out the collective reading because we were talking about that today. Reliving those traumas and actually setting ourselves up in the future because we're constantly bogged down in the mind of of reliving the trauma right so go back and check that out maybe um goes a guy on the lawnmower now uh but after a short time you should your you could come into some abundance or you could even come into uh a soul tribe even because i know soul tribes are um, pretty hot today but this is true we are attracting our soulmates and our soul tribes and the people that are meant to be on this part of the journey with us because when you go looking at the cosmic energy that we've been having we have a lot of alignments that have been setting um you know getting aligned up to for the next like 20 years so things could be setting us up for a couple of years and then we have other air uh, other energies that are setting us up for you know long-term 20-year goals and things like that and it just depends on how it's working out in your chart but this could be about calling in your soul tribe calling in your people calling in um you know help assistance this could be financial assistance this could be a loan this could be any kind of help from someone else is what i'm getting there um oh wow wow fern i love you <laughs> i love you girl look at this so fern you definitely could be um setting up so you're going through a little bit of hardship this is one of those moments in your life but it's setting you up so pay attention write those things down look what else is look at i i just want to show you all of this together right up to the end I want to show you it all together right up to the end look at these cards okay um butterfly yeah butterfly to the horse to the marriage to the to the tankard okay so getting set up getting a leg up getting help and then comes in the brand new beginning the journey is over you take the steps the brand new beginning the fresh slate a fresh start you come out of the cocoon you come out of the dark night you come out of the dark times things start to get brighter right really really brighter beautiful energy keep documenting those messages whatever they are dark or beautiful and bright document them they're important okay you have it coming in right after the butterfly abundance prosperity good luck look at this the horseshoe coming in may even hang a horseshoe above your door brings in prosperity and luck so you have that coming in and how is this prosperity and luck coming in through marriage through a contract through a soulmate contract a union uh something that you guys decide to do together right so this could actually be about you being led to marriage it could actually you be really like getting married in the long term and then it's followed and ended with the tankard celebrations reason to celebrate this these two right here together I get the four of wands energy and you guys know about the four of wands the four of wands and the tarot is associated as being the marriage card the twin flame card the, you know the card of all conquering love cards it's one of those cards right so I get that energy right here with those two cards together this could be actually setting you up in your foundation for a higher level of commitment is what I'm getting to. So that's what I'm getting for you, Fern. That's what I'm getting for you, beautiful. I hope it works. Let me know. It is beautiful, girl. I'm excited. Shit. I'm jelly too. I'm jelly of Madeline's beach. I'm jelly of your potential marriage. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, this is this is really good news. I like this. Okay. Let's see, who else, um, did I get everybody? Burn, Sherry, oh, yeah, uh, Sherry Fern says she's so sorry for your loss. 
We're all so sorry for your loss, sweetheart. That is such terrible stuff. Lydia, I did you. Uh, Madeline, I did you. Oh, Madeline, Madeline, are you still here, honey? While we're waiting to see if anybody else comes in. I wanted to show you. Okay, so the pendulum is much like any other divination tool. You want to merge your energy with your divination tools. You want to, um, you know, you you be the only one to touch them, seriously. I mean, maybe people think that's a little bit, you know, anal, but I really firmly believe you keep your energy on your, your divination tools and um, they will work wonders for you. Do not, when other people go touching your stuff, that's why you have to cleanse them. So one of the first things I did with, um, and you can you can read about this kind of stuff if you guys want, but one of the first things that I did when I got my pendulum was, um, I'm a firm believer that your tools, your divination tools will choose you. So um, I walked into a little shop over in um, Stanton, Stanton, Virginia, and uh, this pendulum was just screaming at me, and so I picked it up. It's got a little wolf on there. Um, I'm a lone wolf, so it's got a wolf, and it says, live bold and trust your instincts, so I really like that, but anyway, with um, my pendulum, I blessed it, and um, I cleanse it, and you know, all of that, and then um, I asked it to show itself, you know, to show its energy to me, to show me a yes, so I'm like, show me yes, you know, and, and so you have to, you're breathing the energy, you guys are um, creating a connection. So um, you're like, show me yes, show me yes. And you're putting that energy into it. You're telling it what you want it to do for you. So show me yes, show me yes, show me yes. And see how it's doing it? Show me yes, show me yes, show me yes. Okay, thank you. Show me no, show me no, show me no, show me no. And did you see how it stopped? It stopped on its own when I said show me no. And it started to show me no. So you just, I hold mine like that. Like I really am not holding that at all, as you can see. It's however you want to hold it, but I hold mine like that. And you can go right above or you can hang it up, like you know, hold it higher. But whenever you're using the pendulum and after you ask questions, you always want to zero out the energy. So like what I mean by zeroing and, and out is like I asked for Sherry. So now I want to close that energy. It's much like putting your um, crystals on top of your tarot deck to close that energy, to keep that energy closed and secure so that no spirits or anything can go in there and mess with it. So I close it out by touching the surface, touching the table or, or whatever. And then um, so I lift it back up and I'll say, you know, show me yes or I'll ask it a question. So when you're creating your um, connection with your pendulum, uh, just sit by yourself for a little bit and talk to, talk with it and create a connection and you know keep saying show me yes. It will show you how it works. So mine showed me back and forth for yes and side to side for no. But there are lots of other readers and lots of other people that use the pendulum where a yes could circle right it could circle this way or it could circle that way or a yes could you know it could be back and forth or a no could be back and forth and a yes could be side to side it works differently for everybody so it's that's pretty much it using a pendulum is really not that hard it's just about with any other divination tool you just want to put your energy into it and connect with it that's that's pretty much it and the more you connect with it the stronger the energy is, the stronger the bond, and the better it works for you. Same with your divination, you know, your tarot cards. Um, I have some tarot cards that I connected with like that, and we work very well together. And then I have other tarot cards that I don't, you know, connect with them as easily. I mean, I connect with them, but I don't use them as much because they're just certain ones. You know, you just, it's all in the connection. You want the strongest connection, right? So, you know, I had a really bad time with, excuse me, my partner recently, but things are getting so much better. We are finally understanding each other again and communicating better. That's wonderful, Fur, and that's wonderful. That, I, oh my God. Girl, if you guys get engaged or anything, I want to know, and I want an invite. <laughs> 
I love that for you, sweetie. I love that. That's awesome. That is fantastic, seriously. Mm. So before I get off here, before I get going, let me say that I um, did a reading yesterday. So there's one, a new reading over on my YouTube channel. It was really, really good reading. Great energy. Um, if you guys want to check that out. If you haven't given me a follow over on YouTube, please do so. Um, I would really, really love that. I really want that community to grow. I really want that channel to grow. And I ain't even going to lie about it. I want one of them damn um, YouTube award plaques. I want that bitch on my wall. <laughs> I want, I want that 100,000 subscriber bitch on my wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, if you haven't jumped over there and subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. You know, I would really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the notification bell, all that kind of stuff. We're going to do a lot more spontaneous tarot versus the schedules. I don't like schedules. I don't like it. Life is too chaotic to be scheduling all the shit you know what i mean i mean yeah well i mean i don't like schedules anymore but anyway so we're gonna be doing that but um i am going to get going you will be the first to know oh i love you girl i love you guys i really do you guys are amazing um so i am i'm chilling today after i do did this tarot i just wanted to get on here and do a little bit but i do need to get going i need to go make my grandson some lunch um so make myself some too um but look for more tarot readings and uh more live sessions because i think this is going to free me up i always hated waiting for the time to come so i think this is going to be good but I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Until then, take great care of yourself, and as always, may your love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Let's see. And find that end button. <laughs>